Alrighty, so last but certainly not least, when it comes to reviewing these conference semifinal match, we're going to look at Orlando City versus Atlanta United. And by now, you know, you probably already know that Orlando City were able to move on into the Eastern Conference Final. And in some way, they kind of uh, slay their, their own demon as well, because, you know, Atlanta has been the more dominant side in this uh, rivalry. But Orlando is able to get the better over Atlanta. Though, to be fair, you know, they were heavy favorites coming into this game, Orlando City. And it's kind of interesting that, you know, while the road team were able to get the job done on Saturday, yeah, it was the home team that was able to do so. And we didn't really quite see any uh, upset on Sunday compared to what we saw on Saturday, though, I don't know if you can count uh, uh, the Red Bulls win against NYCFC is is, is considered an upset, even though I know the, the Red Bulls were the away team and they might be just slightly the underdog against NYCFC. I think that was kind of a bit of an even game. But still, you know, coming into this game again, Atlanta is the, the, the lowest seed uh, remaining. And quite frankly, it is a, a miracle, the fact that they, they, they made it to, to this stage of the period and really unlike minnesota i thought atlanta actually didn't play that badly in this game against orlando city they limit the the chances at time that orlando has had they kept themselves in this game as long as possible unlike minnesota that pretty much just crash and burn in, in the second half but the problem for atlanta is that they didn't have that that big moment that they've been been looking for and and the big moment that they they have come up in the last couple of games especially against inter miami uh, to get the, the goal to, to uh, potentially maybe even send this to extra time and beyond. Now, in the first half, uh, Torres would put it wide as that that was the, the shot's first, for or that was the game first shot, that is. And then for Holson, would actually struck the post, but it rebound right to en Enrique, who tried to hit it into the empty net, but it was clear off the line. And straight away, Orlando, they were not messing around. And I, I think after what we saw on decision day, it was pretty clear that Oscar message for this Orlando City side, they have to start start strong they cannot uh start uh poorly like they did on decision day when they found themselves in a two old hole relatively quick so yeah they definitely shot out of the cannon Atlanta seems like they're playing that that bend but don't break early on that seems like that was kind of successful uh against Inter Miami Enrique would then hits it right to to Guzan you can also hear the the Guzan uh chant from the busy Atlanta fans there were a lot of Atlanta fans uh in in attendance makes sense because you know you know, uh, obviously, whenever Atlanta play against Orlando City, you always see see a lot of visiting Atlanta fans. It's not that long of a drive to, to go from Orlando to Atlanta. Well, I say it's not long of a drive. It is still a bit bit of a drive, but certainly, uh, you know, Atlanta fans, especially whenever they tra travel on the road, they're very we well travel, especially in the Southeast region. You're going to see Atlanta fans uh, in in attendance, and there was definitely a lot. Of them. Uh, the shots though were free nothing for Orlando, and again, unfortunately for those visiting Atlanta fans, besides uh, uh, Sheldon Goose, every time Goose makes it the same, they really had nothing to cheer for their team going forward because they barely got a sniff in the Orlando half. They were kind of just getting pinned deep, similar to what we saw uh, when Seattle did against LAFC. Uh, Ojeda would puts it over from long range. Uh, we then had some some coming together again you know that it happens because you know only it's a playoffs but you know both of these teams as a reminder they do not like each other whatsoever and and yeah there was a bit of a coming together because of that uh i also thought that you know at, at some point Atlanta was actually virtually playing with 10 men because uh one of their attacker jamal tra was actually uh injury he was actually went down down uh with a knee injury they did try to do the the the, the magic spray to to hope that he can continue and for a while it actually did it worked out but then he went there he was kind of holding his knee and he was definitely grimacing and i can understand that you know obviously uh in a playoff like that you see these players they're gonna soldier no matter what they do not want to come off the pitch especially at this stage but in some way this kind of hurt Atlanta because you know they were virtually playing down uh to 10 men and it kind of in indirectly come back to haunt, haunt them in the 39th minute because Orlando City would get the, the opening uh, goal as Enrique would score the opening goal to give Orlando C a one nothing lead. It was not great set piece defending there from Atlanta United. And again, if they were, were full, fully strained, maybe they would have done better in terms of that set piece defending instead of virtually kind of defending uh, with 10 with TRA can't really move whatsoever. But still, yeah, uh, not great set piece defending there. And just like that, Orlando uh, City deservedly 
get the one nothing lead as they were by far the better team up to that point. Uh but in the forty second minute, Tiare finally had to be subbed off. I mean, I I, I can tell that he was trying his best to to soldier this uh, until uh, halftime and maybe. Uh, they would make a sub and don't have to burn a sub window, but you can clearly see that he just simply can't continue. Uh, and he was also in tears as he was sub uh, this game. Understandably, I mean, when uh, you when you get to this stage of the the season and this stage of the playoffs, nobody wants to come from off an injury. You you can see player that is playing for through torn ACL and they still wouldn't want to come come off an injury because again the competitiveness and the the adrenaline rush will will keep. Keep them continue, but it's got to a point where you know, unfortunately, uh, just uh, it, it just gives, and that yeah, it's very sad to see Tiara had to be subbed off, and, and a huge loss for Atlanta too, because he 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 can definitely provide some some uh, pace behind, and he's been been a vital uh point for for Atlanta on the attacking and this playoffs as well, especially in, in that that game three against Inter Miami. So yeah, uh, Tiara was subbed off. Rios, of course. Uh, was subbed in. Enrique then looked for another, but he puts it wide before Angulo, who curls one right to Guzan in the third minute of stoppage time. Uh, but we do head to halftime with Orlando City leading 1-0. In the second half, Orlando started to be a little bit better when it comes to controlling possession uh, and creating at least a couple of half chances. First, it was Marinchuk, uh had a shot that was deflected and goes wide before Schlitzwood hits one into the stands. I thought it was a much, much better start for Orlando. You kind of had a sense that that was the ca case because, you know, when... You're down one nothing. You kind of had to come out of your shell a little bit, and maybe Rob Valentino is telling his guys maybe be a little bit more aggressive now that they're they're down one nothing. Uh, Enrique then heads it wide from close before Fortune, what puts it over from long range. Uh, the shots uh, were starting to even up a little bit. You know, early on it was it was heavily in favor of Orlando City, but it's now even up to eight to six for Orlando up to this point. Uh, Maguire then puts it wide on the doorstep of goal. Yeah, that is one that Duncan Maguire would want to have back. That is a Big prime opportunity for the big dunk to, to score there. But there was no doubt that Orlando was looking to put this one away. And again, you don't want to keep this a one-goal game, even though Atlanta, for the most part, hasn't really uh, created a lot of chances. They haven't even forced Kalese to, to make a save in this one. You don't want to keep this at one one nothing. Atlanta has had that ability, the, as we've seen in that Inter-Miami series, of, of scoring late goals. And if there's any another thing you, you also need to know about Atlanta, at least for the last two seasons, they are one of those teams that, that is not fearing when it comes to scoring dramatic late goals or even conceding dramatic late goals. I've always mentioned in an Atlanta game, it, it, it's kind of weird, but they always ha ha have, a, have a situation where they either concede late goals or scoring late goals uh, themselves. But uh, in the 85th minute, Cartagena tried to finish it, but he fires one right to Guzan. And then in the third minute of stoppage time, uh, Marenchik would hits it high from close range. That was probably the best chance. Uh, for Orlando because Marincha had a free header there to keep this one down. But in the end, Orlando City, they they get the, the win here. Not the prettiest win by any means necessary. But still, you know, in the playoffs, prettiness doesn't really matter. It's all about survive and events. That's exactly what the Lions did. They win one nothing in this one. Shots in this one. 14 shots for the 7 that Atlanta has. No shots on goal for the 4 that Orlando City had. 7 shots off target for the 3 that Atlanta has. 3 shots on the block for the 4 that... Atlanta has and possession wise 51% possession compared to the 49% possession that Orlando City has in this game and there's no doubt that again you know now that 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 uh Orlando not only is the highest seed remaining in the Eastern Com Conference but I even mentioned before the pressure is, is is definitely now for them to not even not only make it to the the Eastern Conference final which again this is the first time they able to over that hurdle and in some way they also exercise their own de demons of finally getting past the second round but you kind of had a sense that this has got to be the opportunity for them to reach MOS Cup because you know in that game against the Red Bulls I know the Red Bulls have, have kind of surprised a lot of people but Orlando is definitely going to be the, the, the heavy fa favorites coming in into that game as well and reach MOS Cup and yeah again again we'll see whether or not if Oscar Herrera team can continue to do so, so, and for Atlanta United, I mean, it's been a great run for Atlanta. And I, I said this about Minnesota, too. There's nothing to be ashamed shame of uh, getting eliminated by a much, much, uh, t uh, much superior team. And in, in case of Atlanta, at least they're, they're proud of the fact that they, they kept this uh, game as close as it, it, it needs to be for a while to give them a chance to cause a major upset. And, you know, this offseason, there's no doubt that in classic Atlanta United fashion, 
uh, guard Logway is going to open up the, the pocketbook again. I mean, I, I have a feeling they're going to spend some, some money, as we always seen them to do uh, in the winter trans window, and in some extent, the summer trans trans window as well and there's no doubt that there's going to be a lot of pieces that they need to improve i mean i know some people will say well they they definitely need need some uh, attacking help and maybe bring joseph martinez back to atlanta might be part of that piece although i don't know if that that could move a needle uh for this team other than the fact that it's a good good uh feel good story and just good good uh nostalgia and reunion to see if joseph martinez does come back to atlanta united this offseason but uh besides the attack i i think there there's definitely a case that they they might need some defensive help uh, as well i mean their d defense throughout this playoffs has been very good but throughout the season it has not been good whatsoever so that that's something that they 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 might need to 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 uh address either way you know there's no doubt there's there's there there's gonna be be a bit of a uh a, a, a retool that this Atlanta United team is gonna go for this team could be di look a little different compared to the the one that we currently ha have right now and again you know in a transitional year like like this being being Atlanta will be proud that they of course got themselves uh in, in a relatively deep spot and that they got themselves uh the, the deepest they have gone in the past couple of years but now it's all about improve proving and also getting themselves back to where Atlanta United is because with the expectation that Atlanta has this is simply not uh isn't going to be good enough they they always want to expect this team to go even deeper and we'll see whether or not they'll make the right moves to go deeper heading into the next season as well but there you have it that is pretty much it for the review of this game as always let me know in the comments below what do you think of this review and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure to see the like smash the subscribe button and yeah I of course will see you guys next time